Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Wednesday, December 2nd. Today's Gospel passage comes to us from the 15th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. It reads, At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed him at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, and then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The question of the disciples to Jesus is a very practical question. Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? The disciples were looking to address this need in a normal way. If you and I were told to feed a large crowd of people, we'd have to the same concern. Where do we get enough food since no one carries that much food into a deserted place? And if I was in my hometown of Kyoto, Iowa, the local grocery store would not have enough food to feed a thousand people, let alone a crowd that might have been as big as 5,000 people. So while the disciples were reacting in a normal way, I think a way that you and I would react, They did not assess the situation in light of Jesus Christ. He, the man who was asking them to feed these people, was also the same person who made the mute speak, who cured the deformed, who gave sight to the blind, and made people walk again. The miracles that happened prior to Jesus' command to feed the large crowd were beyond anyone's imagination and expectation. So in order to address the need of feeding the people, Jesus brought forth another miracle. The seven loaves and the two fish were never exhausted as they were shared with the people. And as the food was passed, it multiplied, and it led to an excess of food that filled seven baskets. So you'll notice that all the miracles that happened in today's passage from the gospel including the multiplication of the loaves, was done out of love by Jesus Christ. Out of his love he healed, he made whole, and fed those that came to him. And these realities were beyond people's expectations. So the disciples learned through these experiences that their personal expectations were not to be the norm through which they should understand the world with Jesus Christ. With him, much more as possible. Thus, when Jesus was crucified, we can even understand why the disciples were so dejected. The same Jesus Christ who fed thousands of people through five loaves and two fishes and who cured hundreds and thousands of people, how could he be crucified like a normal criminal? Why did he not defy the expectations in that situation as he did and many others. Well, as we know, Easter morning would not have come unless there was a Good Friday. So Jesus did defy expectations even at the end of his life, but again, it's beyond our knowledge and understanding. So as we continue with this Advent season, let us open our minds and hearts to Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior wants to show us through this holy season how he will provide for us in a way that's beyond our expectations because of his great love for us. 
We just have to trust in him and truly acknowledge that he, because he does love us, will meet our needs and truly go beyond our expectations. But we have to have trust in him. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.